Hello? Uh, this is the genuinely approachable Sudoku for the 30th and 31st of March 2024. Uh, I really apologize if I was unable to, you know, do the guess for yesterday. I was very swamped. So I didn't have time to sit down and solve the puzzle. Uh, but that means we have two puzzles for today. Uh, and so yeah, hopefully this will make for, I don't know, a slightly longer video. If that's a kind of thing you guys enjoy. Alright, so let us take a look at the puzzle for these two days. The first one is an anti-king Sudoku. It is Pyramid Scheme by Philip Newman. And I guess Pyramid Scheme because we have several pyramids here. But also Pyramid Scheme in reference to anti-king, I guess. Uh, so, anti-king means that cells separated by a chess king's move cannot contain the same digits. So besides normal Sudoku rules, where digits may not repeat in... Uh, where digits 1 to 9 must be placed in every column, every row, and every 3x3 box, which are those three things I've highlighted over here, cells separated by a chess king's move also cannot contain the same digit. So let's take a look at this one over here. This one, technically by Sudoku, cannot appear in any of the cells I've marked so far. However, if it were a chess king, it could also move to that space, that space, and that space. So those cells that are chess kings move away also cannot contain a 1. And so those are the digits that cannot be 1 based on this digit alone. And yeah, those are all the digits, uh, those are all the rules, sorry, not all the digits. Uh, so with that, let us just begin solving. Alright, so I think this might be meant to be fairly quick to solve. The 9 in this box does already help. Because the nines here remove nine from those bo those cells, and that's how come you're nine because it's a knight's mo uh, king's move from this one. <sighs> Sorry, I had to sneeze there. So nine in this box has to go up here. Uh, all right. I mean, I don't really think this one follows. Oh, it might actually. Look at this. Every uh, diagonal, diagonally opposite, diagonally uh, rotationally symmetrical cell here adds up to ten. So we want to look at this cell over here. The ones over here in this box can't be in those cells, can't be in that cell by King's move, so one must go there, as expected. Uh, Alright, maybe fives? No, I don't think fives do much. Uh, fours. Yes, four by regular Sudoku actually just goes in that box there. Uh, can I do the same here? I can probably do the same with sixes. Actually, four in this box also goes here. So that's nice. Yeah, 6 in fact does go here. You can probably do the same for 6 over here. 6 in this box? Yep, must go there. Awesome. Okay, so, so those 4 digits were just regular Sudoku. What else? This 2 looks suspicious. Because in this box, the 2 come in those cells, so it forms somewhat of a- it can only go in one of those 2 cells. Which means it might affect like these boxes. In fact, it might affect this one. Yeah, uh, not really. The 2 sees that cell, this 2 sees those cells, so 2 is in one of those cells. Which doesn't really help much. So that's unfortunate. But it's okay. Alright, what else do we have? 7s? I mean, 7s also seem quite suspect. Like, those digits are the only digits that can be 7 here. Which means that in this box, it must be in one of those cells. But it doesn't really help us either. So I wouldn't look at it too much. 3? No, 3 is the same as 7s here because uh, rotationally uh, opposite. Hmm, does 4 play a part here? No, it doesn't. What do I hear? No, does 6 doesn't play a part either. Well, this 6 removes 6 from that cell, but those two cells could have 6 in one of them, and I don't know which. By similar logic, 4 can only go in one of those cells, but that doesn't really help either. I guess in this box, it is one of those cells. But that doesn't do much, because that would... Oh wow, it does do something, because that forms an X-Wing, look at that. So those digits can't be 4s, meaning 4 is one of those cells. With this pair of cells over here, that forms an X-Wing. Uh, and how X-Wings work is basically... The easy, uh, the easy way of saying is where does X go in the remaining column in this sort of band over here. This pair means that none of those cells can be 4. This pair means that none of those cells can be 4. The 4 here and here remove those cells from being 4. So the only place 4 can be is over here. So yeah, that's one way of uh, describing an X-Wing. We can do the same with 6 as well. So in this box, 6 is one of those cells, which forms an X-Wing with that 6 over here. Now I will also introduce the other way of um, explaining X-Wings, which is to say that, look at these two columns. How many 6s can they have? 
Well, because there's one six in each column, that's mix that makes two sixes in total. There will be one over here, and there will be one over here. Which therefore means that these cells alone will take up all the sixes in the column. Therefore, nowhere else in the entire set of two columns can there be a six. So none of these highlighted digits are a six. And if you notice, what that means in this box, it means that none of those cells are sixes. These two sixes also continue meaning uh, removing six from those cells, so six in this box can only be here. So yes, six has to go there, which may or may not do stuff for us. I want to look at these columns now because they do seem quite suspicious as well. Like three here has been one of those cells, but doesn't really do anything for us, does it? Not really, no. Hmm. Okay. I would assume 7 is very similar in that aspect. So no, I don't think that would do anything either. 5? No, 5 already. We've already looked at 5. My only guess is that we do 1s and 9s next. But then again, they also don't seem like they have much going on. 2? 8? 8? I mean, 8's kind of... 8 is weird. 8 is weird. 8 in this box is one of those cells. Which means what? I guess it means... Yeah, it means it's in one of those cells as well. Hmm. Alright, I'm inclined to believe it might be something that I'm not seeing at all. Like... Something that is super obvious that I'm not seeing. Super duper obvious. Like, is there any way for me to... Remove 7 from one of those cells. I know one of those cells are 7. By similar logic, one of those cells are a 3. But can I resolve that? I don't think so. It doesn't look like it, definitely. Might have to go for more advanced anti-king techniques here. And when I said more advanced, I, I don't really mean much. I just mean we have to spot more stuff. Like a fun fact about this pair over here is because one of them have to be 8, right? None of those digits can be an 8. And that's because we have a put 8 here, removes uh, one of them by regular circle and removes the other by king's move. But I don't see why that might be useful. Because this 7 is touching this box which already has a 7 in it. So it's quite useless in that sense. This 7 actually means that one of those cells are a 7. And therefore one of those cells are a 3. Again, not sure if that works, but putting a 3 here or there would also uh, it would also fix the other side. I mean, I guess we can put a 3 in one of those cells. Same as we put 7 in one of those cells. Which means in this 3 is in this column. Oh, wait, no. I was like, oh, this is useful because 3 in here would do something to 3 like here in this cell specifically. But that doesn't work because 3 already exists in the column, so it's useless. Useless to us. Okay, what else is there then? Twos? Twos removed from those cells by regular Sudoku. Why would this or this be unable to be a two? I mean, if that was a two, then this wouldn't be a two, but... that We don't even know if that's a two or not. What a pyramid scheme, indeed. Truly, truly a pyramid scheme. Do I really have to mark? I mean, one of those cells are a 2. One of those cells are a 2. Can we do something with that? Not really. I mean, here I'm missing 2 from those cells. By 2 in one of those cells and by the 2 over here. So 2 is in one of those cells now? There's no issue with any of those though. Hmm. Well this is this this is quite ape struggle. Can I use this column maybe? There are more quadruples here. This is what two seven eight nine. Eight can't be in those cells, but eight could be any of those cells, right? And 2 can't be here, but 2 could be any one of those cells. Uh, 
seven, seven, well, seven could be anywhere, I think. Pretty sure seven could be anywhere. Yeah, no real thing over there to look at. Wait, so what's the trick here? Oh, I'm really scared that this is just some, some simple trick that I'm not seeing. What? This is... This is immensely weird. Oh, wait a minute. One in this box is also here, so that forms a pair. Oh, I didn't see that. This forms a 1-3 pair. Which means that also forms a pair, consisting of 2 and 8. Ah, and this should help, because the 8 actually resolves. Wow, so that forms another pair. Okay, so that's why I was not seeing all this while. This has to be 5-7 then. Yeah, similarly here the 9 would not be in those cells, so 9 forms a 9-7 pair over here. Uh, then this forms a 2-8 pair as well, this 2 resolves that. Which means that forms 1-3. Uh, which I don't think we can resolve just yet. So that's a triple over here which has to be 2-8-9. And this can't be 2 or 9, 2 or 8 sorry, so it's a 9. Wow, and this 2 and this 8 resolve the remaining 2-8 pair. Why is this 7-9? Wait, what? Why am I repeating digits? Wait, what? Oh, wait, this is not 5-7. Whoopsies. Okay, sorry. Oops, I'm so sorry. This is not 5-7. This is 7-9. Whoa, so this has to be 2 5 eight. Okay, this is a 5, which makes more sense for an X windmill because generally for X windmills, 5's are in the center. Never actually realized it, but okay. Oh, this forms another pair, I think, because they are knights mo uh, kings move apart. That's a neat little trick. What can we do from here? That's a triple. A uh, triple consisting of 3, 6, 7. Uh, no, not 3, 6, 7. 3, 7, 9. Keep missing on 9 for some reason. Uh, this I think can't be a 3, because 3 is in one of those cells. Uh, and then what? No... No king's moves sh can apply here, because none of those match. Cool. Uh, what else do we have? I mean, here we also have something similar. This has to be 173. 137. 7 is one of those cells, so that cell can't be a 7. Hmm. Guess not. Okay. 8 is in one of those cells. Can we resolve that? Yes, 8 in one of those cells will remove 8 from that cell. So now 8 it has to be here. Which means this is a, well, this is a quadruple, but besides 3, 7, and 9, there should also be, I think, a 2 somewhere in here, which can only mean that cell. Alright, cool. So that's 3, 7, or 9. It has to be 7 and 9 because it can't be 3. Actually, this now over here means that must be a 7. So now those cells can be a 7, which means 7 goes down there. Alright, we can repeat here. 2 in this box, I think. One of those cells will see this, so 2 must be here. Here we are missing 1, 3, 7, and 8. 8 in this cell has to be over here. This forms a 1, 3, 7 triple. This cell can't be 1 or 7, so that's a 3. That removes 3 from that cell, which puts a 3 up there. I also just realized this 3 resolves this 1, 3 pair. This 7 resolves this 7, 9 pair. Uh, and that also resolves these pairs down here by knights, uh, king's move. Keep saying the wrong things. But okay, that was cool. 3 in this box, yes, because of 3 here and here coming in those cells, 3 must go there. Uh, I think a simpler way is that 3 resolves this over here. Similarly, the 7 resolves this 1, 7 over here. Oh, oh wrong button. Okay. Got more triples consisting, I think, 4, 8... 4, 8, 9? Sorry, 4, 8, 9. 8 here means 8 must be there. This has to be a 4, 9 pair. That is resolvable. Uh, this can't be an 8. But that forms another triple over here. This one is just a free digit, honestly. I think this just has to be like a... 9. <laughs> Those digits are 3 and 5. Yep. No king's move yet, but we can probably fix that. This has to be 2, 3, 5 to finish the row. 2, 3 can't be here, so this has to be 5. That resolves this over here, which, pus which puts a 2 there. Nice. 
This has to be, I think, 1-6... 1 six, one, three, six, sorry. Uh, 3 and 6 means this has to be 1. 3-6 pair is, is, is resolvable. Which means that 6 must go there. I think the 4 here means 4 must go there as well. Cool. A lot of free digits here. This has to be a, a, a 5. This has to be a 7. This can't be a 2, so 2 goes up there. Which means that is just a 1. Those digits are, I think, 8 and 9. That must be an 8, that must be a 9. That digit would be a 5. And to finish us off, this has to be 1 and 7. 1 here resolves that. Solving the puzzle in 14 minutes and 3 seconds. Very cool. Alright, that was one of the puzzles. Let's go to the next one. The next one features a few more actual puzzle elements. And wow, look at that. Cage comparison by Clover. This is the one for today. Now once the rules apply, inequalities compare the totals of adjoining cages. For instance, of the two cages in row 1, the left one has a greater total than the right one. So yeah, for example in here, this should have a greater total than this. And this should have a greater total than this. And same for each of these. So yeah, with all that, let us just begin solving. Hopefully you understood that rule set well enough. I think we'll start off with the corner as most of these puzzles like to begin because that's a 9 and a 1 here, which must be greater than whatever this is. 9 and 1 sum to 10, so those digits must sum to less than 10. And because of the 1 already in a row, the minimum we could make this is actually at 9, because 2, 3, and 4 add to 9. And because it must be less than 10, this also has to be a 9 at most. And therefore, if it's at least a 9, but also 9 at most, it must be just a 9. Uh, and that means that this has to be 2, 3, and 4. 3 resolves this uh, triple over here, placing a 3 over here. That's a 2, 4 pair down there. And right, that was the first deduction, which is fairly simple to make. The next one is this one, which is less than this. Well, that sounds to 8, so this is also pretty small. In fact, this sounds to at most a 7. Uh, and 7 or 6 must have a 1 or 2 in it. A 1 and 2 in it, in fact. Uh, and in fact, I think because of this cell over here, it cannot be a 6. Because a 6 must be made with 1, 2, and 3. That's the only way to make 6 with 3 cells. And because of 1, 2, and 3 in the ready in the column, that digit cannot be either 1, 2, or 3, meaning it cannot be part of a 6 cage. So this can't be a 6 cage, it must therefore be a 7 cage made of 1, 2, and 4. Uh, 1 and 2 mean that digit must be a 4. This is resolvable because of the 2 in one of those cells, which means this is a 1, and that's a 2. Nice. Okay, so 2 and 7 add up to 9, so those digits sum up to less than 9. Ah, so those digits have to sum up to at most a 3. Uh, because of the 5 here, and this must be more at most 8. So this must be at most 3. And the cool thing about that is there is only one way to make 3 in 2 cells, and that is 1 in 2. You can't go any smaller than that because there is no way to make 2 in 2 cells or 1 in 2 cells. So this must be a 1, that must be a 2 to make 3. And there you go. I think we're just going to be working very small numbers today. This one is actually might be even better maybe. Yes, it must in fact be a 7 cage. Because this sums to 8, that sums to less than 8. We have two options here. It's either a 6 or a 7, because it's either 1, 2, 3 or 1, 2, 4. Uh, we cannot go any less than that because you can't express 5 as a sum of 3 different digits. But look at that digit. That digit actually sees the digits 1, 2, and 3. So that digit is already at least a 4, which means it can no longer be 6. So it can't be 1, 2, and 3. Uh, meaning that it must be a 7, which is 1, 2, and 4. That digit is therefore a 4. That digit is therefore a 2. Cool. <laughs> Very cool. Okay, what's next? This? I mean, this is very similar to this, isn't it? Because this is bigger than that, so this is less than 10. This is also less than 10, and by the same logic, we already realized that because of the 1 already in the row, this must be 9 made of 2, 3, and 4. This must also be 9 made of 2, 3, and 4. We can place a 2 in this cell as a result, because none of those can be 2. 2 up here resolves the 2, 4 pair. And this must be 3 and 4. That is resolvable with that 3. Cool. Uh, what about that? Well, I think this might be a better contender for what we do. Yes, because... Uh, because... This has a sum to less than 9, right? This is 27. Oh, not 27, but 2 plus 7 is 9. This is less than 9. But look at those two digits. What are they at the very least? They're already at least a 7, because the 1 and 2 are already in the box. So you have to be at least 3 and 4, meaning they have to be at least 7. 
that digit can be at least a 1, meaning that these digits sum to at least an 8. But it must be less than 9, and so if it's at least 8, it must just be 8. And therefore we can only do this by using the smallest digits possible, which is a 1 here and a 3, 4 over here. This here resolves that for us. And finally, this cage... Oh no, we have two more cages. This sums to 10, or sums to less than 10. Uh, does it include a 1? It could. In fact, it doesn't include a 2. So I think it must include a 1, right? Because without a 2 or a 1, then the minimum we could put is 3, 4, and 5, which already add to 12, which is way too big. So this must have a 1 in it somewhere, and because of this one over here, it must be there. Those digits have to sum to, at most, an 8 as a result, so the entire thing sums to 9. 3 and 4, at the very least, sum to 7, which works, but we can't go any higher, can we? We can't, because 5 is already in the box. So the next highest we can go is 3 and 6. We can't go 4-4 four, four to make 8. You can't use you can't use 3-5 because 5 is already in there. So the next highest that you can have is 3 and 6, which out of the 9. With this one makes 10, which makes it a total of 10, which is not less than 10. So by very weird logic there, which I hope you understood, this has to sum to exactly 7, which is resolvable with this 4 over here. Hopefully you understood that. Uh, I'll try to explain it uh, in the comments if you guys are still, you know, confused. Anyway, those digits have to sum to less than 11. So almost a 10 here. Again, there must be a 1 somewhere in this box because there is no 2. So the minimum without a 1 would be 3, 4, and 5, which would make 12 already, so it doesn't work. So 1 must be somewhere in this box. This 1 removes the 1 from those cells, so 1 goes up there. Those cells sum to 10 or less. Can we figure out which? Well, in this box, the 3 must be in those cells because of the 3s here. So 3 is in one of those cells. Nothing, nothing much really helps us though. We can't identify another digit to go in here. So I think we might as well just start doing Sudoku. I think we've worked on enough cages for the day. So 4s. 4s in this box must be here. Uh, which... What? 8 in this row? Yes, 8 in this row must be here. So those digits have to be... 7 and 6, we can resolve that. That digit is therefore a 9, meaning those digits have to be 5, 6, and 8. That digit therefore to finish the row has to be a 7, meaning those digits are 5, 6, and 9. Uh, this can't be a 5, that can't be a 9. In fact, this forms a triple, uh, consisting of 5, 6, and 8. That can't be an 8. That can't be a 5, but in fact, that forms a 5, 6 pair over here. So 8 in this column must just be there. Cool. Another triple over here, therefore, which is 6, 7, and 9. 9 can't be in those cells, so 9 must go here. Cool. Now, those just have to be now, I think, 6 and 7, which we can't resolve yet. But that removes a 6 from that cell, so that's 5. Making this a 6, so that's 9, meaning that's a 5. Awesome. That digit to finish the box just has to be a 4 then, meaning those digits have to be... Let me think, 6, 9, nice. <laughs> this 9 means that's a 6, that's a 9. Therefore, that's an 8 to finish the box. Therefore, this has to be 7, 6, and 5. I'm sorry if that was a very weird order of saying stuff. 7 can be that cell. I think that's all we have though. Yeah. Cool. More triples over here, I think. 6, 7, and 8. 6, 7, 8. And then those just will be 6, 7, and... Uh, what? 6, 7, 9, sorry. Yeah, 6, 7, 9 in those cells. Alright. 8, 8 coming in that cell. Uh, so what are we missing here? Oh, I'm missing a 9 in one of these cells. Interesting. That does make sense, because 9 is one of those cells. Oh, sorry, we have a bunch of triples here, I didn't even realize that. Oopsies. Okay, so this is, uh, 1, 3, 1, 3, 9, I think. That can't be a 1. Uh, in fact, this 1, 3 over here means this has to be 9. 1 here resolve the remaining 1, 3 pair. Now those just have to be uh, 5, 6, 8. That can't be a 5. This all looks like it's going to join up later. Actually, this 9 here resolves this because 9 has to go up there now. Meaning in this box, 9 can only be in here. Awesome. Alright, the last 3 digits here have to be 2, 4, and 7. That can't be 2 or 4, so that's a 7. 2, 4 over here resolve the remaining 2, 4 pair. 
7 means that must be a 6, 7 must go up here, 8 goes there. Uh, that resolves this, this is a 5. Oh, it doesn't actually resolve, huh? <laughs> I got trolled. 3 can't mean that, so the 3 must go down there. Do we have to use this cage last to figure out more stuff here? I don't think so. This has to be, I think, 5, 6, 8. Uh, this can't be an 8. So it forms a 5, 6 pair here, which means 7 can only go up here. Uh, that means that 5, 6, 8 triple forms here. Wow, so that is a 7 over there as well. That digit is therefore either a 6 or an 8. I think it must be a 6. Can I resolve this otherwise? Oh, I can't. Wow, that's awesome. This last cage, we need to resolve this. Because this has to be 11. This has to sum to less than 11, so it can't be 8. Because with 8, those would then sum to 12, which is wrong. So it must be a 6. Alright, this 6 resolves this. 5 here, 8 there. 6 will resolve this up here. Which means this has to be an 8, this has to be a 5, so that's a 6. And the last pair over here is resolved. 8 here, oh 8, sorry. 6 here? Oh, there's one over here, I didn't see that. Alright, that is also easily resolvable. Nice, and that solves the puzzle in 9 minutes and 56 seconds. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this set of puzzles. <laughs> sorry I didn't upload yesterday. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.